y'all it's Krista um so today I am doing a sister painting to my video number four um the lovely Renee that owns my video number four um asked me for a for a complimentary piece so I'm using all of these are the same colors as I used before but this time I'm adding the permanent blue violet. So I'm gonna go through the colors real quick. Um, I'm using the Amsterdam Cobalt Blue and I added the uh, Art Alchemy Sparks and this one is called Magical Pond and that's in this cup. It just gives it a little bit of shimmer. I used Deco Art in the sterling silver and master's touch bright yellow green golden's iridescent copper fine and amsterdam's turquoise blue so this is just a 12 by 24 inch canvas because she wanted it the same color or the same size um and I'm gonna layer up the cup a little differently than I did the last time. Oh, and I'm also using um, as my white Amsterdam uh, titanium white. And this is just my, I always have it on hand. It's always good to always have white on hand because you never know when you're gonna need it. So let's start by layering this cup with the permanent blue violet. And on top of that, I think I'm going to put my mixture of cobalt and art alchemy. And then I'm going to put in some of the iridescent fine copper. And then when I use the deco arts, I like to lock them in so they don't take over. So I'm going to put the white on top of that. Not a lot, just a little. And then I'm gonna put in some of that yellow green and the turquoise blue. And then I'll put in some silver. Silver's the only one that I don't ever lock in because I don't think it's necessary. I'll use the permanent blue violet again. And then the cobalt blue. And I guess I'll do the copper again. Just layer it the same. Man, I'm making a mess, y'all. Yeah, bright yellow green all over the place and then lock it in and I'll put the bright yellow green and the turquoise blue now because this is only a 24 by 12 my 16 ounce cup, I have plenty of paint. So I'm gonna set these aside. I don't think I put the silver in again. I'm gonna put the silver in. Okay, set all of these aside. And normally I would prop it up, but because it's not a very big canvas, I'm just gonna start pouring. So I'm gonna put down my little pat for it to land on. I'll let that kind of start sliding down the canvas. And I'm looking at a chunk in it. I'm hoping it's a bubble. Oh, it's a bubble. Okay. All right. 
So as I did before, um, I'm going to start with a straight pour and then I'm gonna jiggle it back and forth when I get to the end of the cup. All right, let's go. It's weird how you use the same colors and it definitely comes out different. All right, I'm gonna start the jiggling. My cup is almost empty, so I'm just gonna take it off the edge. Okay, set that off to the side. I'm gonna let that fall a little bit. And then I'm going to go around the outside of it with the white. And that should be good. I'm gonna take my, you know what? I was gonna use my omelet turner, but I think instead I'm gonna use a stick so I can get it right up on that edge so I'm not losing anything in a rollover process. And just spreading it out. Spread it out on this side. I've got my dog back here behind the table. She's sniffing at stuff. It's like, what are you doing? She's crazy, but I love her. All right. I don't really have to spread it down to the bottom that much because I'm definitely gonna make the paint flow that way anyways. All right. Just a little bit of method to the madness, right? Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna torch it Struck on the first time, that's a good sign. Well, there are a lot of bubbles in here today. All right, I'm gonna set that over there. Now let's stretch this out. I'm gonna take it down this way first. But I don't want it to hit the end yet, and then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna take it down towards y'all. And I'm gonna take it right off that corner. And I'm gonna bring it back. So we can open up these bands that are right here. And bring it down this way and stretch it off down here. But I want you to see what I'm doing because there's a lot going on that I don't want to really lose. So I'm gonna kind of walk it. Okay, I made it. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm gonna make myself make it. And then I'm gonna bring it back. All right. And then we definitely have to get rid of this. So we're gonna take all that paint back down this way.
Renee said when she got that that it looked like a peacock. So she wanted that peacock feel because these are going in her house in Florida. And I want her to be happy. Let's take it off that corner, take it off the side, and then bring it back. Okay, then I'm going to turn around. And take it off this corner. All right, so I'm over that corner, kind of. And then I'm going to bring it back. And then for composition purposes, I'm going to make it go this way because I want it to look like wings. And I'm kind of losing that wing vibe right now. I'm really impressed with how my colors didn't mud. So I'm just going to keep taking it down because I really like what's going on right here and I really want to stretch that out. I think the color combo is cool. All right, but I don't want to lose those cells. So I'm going to bring it back from there and I'm definitely going to have to tend that. Use the roll and tuck method so that things blend together. Okay. And I'm going to pull all the paint this way and get this corner. And then get this corner, tuck and roll method. Okay, then we'll come back this way. Leonardo is over here hanging out. only he could talk, right? Okay. And we'll get this corner. Got plenty of paint, I'm sure, that's dripping down. Okay. Alright. I'm going to Hold my hands up so I don't mess this up. And I'll bring you down for a close up. All right, let's take a peek. Okay. So here is the sister. using the same colors but only adding that permanent blue, blue violet look at right here super cool see these are the cells I didn't want to tip off those are super cool look at the transparency in them so awesome 
I used way less white in this one than I did in the first one, but that's okay. I want you to see right here. That's what I was trying to stretch out. Just look how pretty that is and how that just walks right into it. All right, y'all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see y'all soon. All right. Bye, y'all.